guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Mindy. If you haven't been here before, welcome. And if you have been here before, welcome back. Today we are going to make another new recipe and it's going to be one of those quick and easy middle of the week type meals. It is called stuffed pepper pasta casserole. It looks like it's going to be super easy in the oven to the table and yum. We love stuffed peppers. So when I saw this recipe, I thought this might be a good one for us to try. So what I have here is one pound of ground beef, one box of mini penne pasta. I will not use the whole box, but probably a little over half. The spices we're going to use would be one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, two teaspoons of majorum, which is basically sweet basil, and one teaspoon of oregano, and half of a teaspoon of sugar, one cup of tomato sauce, an orange bell pepper, a green bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, medium onion, two cloves of garlic, and one 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes drained. We need one and a half cups of Monterey Jack cheese shredded. Okay guys, I have a large skillet heating. I'm just gonna put a little bit of olive oil in the pan. And the first thing I'm going to add is the garlic. I'm just gonna let this cook for a few seconds by itself. Let it become fragrant. If you hear some banging and clanging, Chris is still working on my dryer today. And now I'm gonna add the rest of the vegetables. And we're just gonna stir these around and let them cook a little bit on their own, probably three or four minutes. And then we will add the ground beef. vegetables are not cooked through. They're still pretty hard, but we're going to go ahead and add the ground beef and let it cook. Okay, the ground beef is pretty much cooked through. I'm going to add the spices and now we're just going to give this a really good stir. I'm going to let this cook for just a couple of minutes with all the spices in there. That way they can kind of come together a little bit better and then we will add the rest of our ingredients. Okay, the next thing we're gonna add is the tomatoes. And now we will add the tomato sauce and we'll just let it simmer for about five minutes. It's looking really good. It's smelling really good too. Okay, I have the cooked pasta in a large mixing bowl. I have a nine by 13 baking dish that I have lightly sprayed with cooking oil. And now I'm going to get the meat and peppers and mix in with this. We're just gonna give this a really good stir. It's, it's so hot, it's steaming. I don't know if you can see, it looks really pretty and it smells really good. So next we're just going to pour it into the nine by 13. And now I'm going to take the Monterey Jack cheese and just put this over the top. I am going to pop this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes and let the cheese melt and those flavors will come together. And then we will be back with the taste test. Hey guys, here is my plate. I have the stuffed pepper pasta casserole. It smells really good and a piece of garlic bread. Now let's see what our taste tester thinks. Hey guys, wow, this kind of uh, looks familiar, but it doesn't sound familiar by what you said it was. Yeah, we've never had it. Mmm, that's like a stuffed pepper, except with pasta. That's delicious. That's very good. I thought you would like it because we really like stuffed peppers. And there's the carrot and the carrot girl. You know a carrot? Hey, looky here. Do you love carrots? Oh, she just does. They're just the best. Okay, guys, I am going to eat my dinner, chat with him, feed her some carrots, and then I will be back with my two cents.
Okay guys, I'm back with my two cents. That was really good. One of those things where I know what we like, so most of the things that I make, I feel fairly confident that we're gonna like it. Him more than me, because as you know, I'm the picky one. But anyway, it was really good. Very tasty, and I felt like it came together really easy as well. I would say 30 minutes, 35 minutes, you can have it on the table. So I would recommend it, it was it was good. I will make it again. He liked it a lot, and I've already packaged up the leftovers so he can have it later. So now I got some dishes to do. And I gotta catch up with Chris and Sadie because they're out strolling without me already. They always get started without me. I'm like a slow poke, I guess. And I always wanna talk to you guys before I head out the door to find them. I hope you will like this video. I hope you will subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you will leave me a comment because I really do enjoy your comments. And don't forget, if you guys have a family favorite that you would like for us to try, email it to me. Our email address is in our description box. And I would love to hear from you guys. And you can give me a little background if you'd like. If not, I can leave you anonymous. It's completely up to you. Just let me know in the email. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you next time. Bye. it's Sadie here and I just want to say I hope you will like this video and subscribe if you haven't already and leave us a comment because we love your comments and now I'm gonna go back to my after dinner stroll but I just wanted to say thanks for watching bye